If you're going through a tough time, listen to this. In the next few moments, I want to share with you the reasons why you must remain resolute and keep going. You've probably heard this before, that tough times don't last forever, but tough people do. That held true when you first heard it, and it still holds true today. There will come a time in your life where you may cry and feel like your soul is dying. Those days when you struggle, want to give up, and don't want to face the world, these are the days that define you. Don't quit. Difficulties come to make you strong, but that's only when you make a decision to go on and you stand by it. Abraham Lincoln said, I'm not concerned that you have fallen and concerned that you will rise. Giving up is human nature brought about by fear. Fear of, what if I fail and try and then fail again? Wouldn't it just be easier to just quit? But here is what is wrong with that. When you give in to that fear, you sentence yourself to a lifetime of failure. A lifetime of regret. A situation where you lose faith in yourself and in humanity. Don't do that to yourself. You must understand that difficult times will come. There's absolutely nothing you can do about that. What you can do, however, is decide what you're going to do with the times. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So, you must decide to make a commitment to face it and deal with it. Because at the end of pain is success. Name what it is that is holding you back. It may be fear, it may be procrastination, a relationship, self-doubt, or even depression. Whatever it is, identify it. You know you can if you think deeply about it. Now, write it down. This will put into perspective what you have to deal with. The big picture of your life will begin to become clear when you start paying attention to the tiniest details. Start with identifying what is holding you back. Next, you have to let go of your anger and hate from the past. This is to help you heal yourself. You cannot be happy and productive if you hold on to old hurts. Let go of relationships and situations that are out of your control. Don't try to force it. You'll only end up hurting yourself some more. Your mental health is important as it guides every other aspect of your life your physical life, your spiritual life. They all become better when you maintain a healthy mental state. Let go of your past hurt. What is it that you want out of life? What is it? We all want something. What is yours? Visualize that thing you deeply want and now ask yourself, how can I get it? When you visualize success against your fears, your mind starts subconsciously building the will and the skills you'll need to achieve the results. When you know and can visualize what it is you want, you have to prepare for it. You have to think long term and then educate yourself. But more importantly, you have to practice. Practice and prepare for the steps that are to come in achieving your goals. Chances are, you're not going to be lucky or win the lottery. But if you work hard and you never give up, then you will succeed. It was Thomas Jefferson who said, I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Put in the work and you can be guaranteed that you will have a breakthrough from that situation you're dealing with. And if ever you fail, dust yourself off and try again. In the 1920s, when a journalist asked Thomas Edison how it felt to fail 1,000 times in his attempt to invent the incandescent light bulb, he replied, 
I didn't fail 1,000 times. The light bulb was an invention with a thousand steps. That is the strength of willpower and the desire to never quit when failing. What is amazing is that there exists that phenomenal willpower in every single human. Only you can harness it. In life, you can go at it alone or you can go at it with companionship. There's an old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. So don't be afraid to get help when necessary and always have a positive attitude. When everything seems to be going against you, remember that an airplane takes off against the wind, not with it. So it is with life. For you to soar high into the sky, you have to move against resistance and the naysayers. It is what fortifies you and makes you strong. And one day, you'll tell someone how you got out of what you are currently going through, and they'd use it as a survival guide for their own journey. Some challenges you face in life aren't just for you, but also for those who are coming behind you. When you feel like giving up, just remember that there are a lot of people you still have to prove wrong. But more importantly, remember you are doing this for yourself. I'm not going to tell you it will be all easy. But I am telling you, it is going to be all worth it.